Hello, lovely people of the internet, and welcome to my humble presentation on what does an apple a day do to you. Yes, we're going to be talking about all its health benefits to see if it's remotely true. And uh, add an advisory, your mind today will be blown. So you are living your lovely life, and you may have heard the same saying in ads or from your parents or your teachers over the years. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. And you may have asked yourself, why is this being told to everyone around the globe or me? You may have heard them say it will keep you healthy, that it will keep you happy, that you will have a long life and prosper. Maybe even that it will help you get rid of asthma or cancer or just save you money purely in the long run and not have to eat those nasty drugs. Ew. Maybe your doctor said, stop eating all those donuts and have an apple. You will thank yourself much later down the road in very good health for life, and you will live to be a hundred. Now, wouldn't that be an amazing child to live to a hundred and see all the world and its beauty? Or maybe you're some important star in Hollywood, and you're scared about your health. So you buy a barrel of apples and eat it every day with your kale smoothies and herb and remedy stuff. And you eat a lot of carrots also with this. And you even eat grass. Yes, grass. So let's ask ourselves, what does an apple a day do to you? Does it even have any health benefits at all that would do such outlandish things? Like I said up above, like no asthma, cancer, drugs, or having more years to live and prosper. So why did I choose this topic, you may ask? Well, once or twice in my life, I had painful cramps in my stomach. I later found out the reason was that I wasn't eating enough cartilage, which apples give to you. Also, this topic just interests me a lot. Some things an apple a day can do for you is it can reduce your risk of getting diabetes, many different versions of cancer, and having high blood pressure. So I guess that it would mean lowering your blood pressure and giving a lot of proteins. Apples also contain a lot of fibers, but don't think about juicing an apple because all these fibers will magically disappear. However, if you boil or microwave it, it will still contain four to five grams of that beautiful fiber. And not fiber optic. Also, as I was saying earlier, the cartilage in apple helps you with constipation. But to be fair, so does broccoli, dried fruit, and healthy cereals. Apples also have many other health benefits that I cannot fit into these short 20 seconds. Sorry. Unfortunately, a study recently conducted shows that, uh, I quote, evidence does not support that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. However, the small fraction of U.S. adults who eat apples a day do appear to use fewer medications. So what I've learned so far about this topic, well, first off, apples have a lot of health benefits, including fixing constipation and reducing your risk of diabetes and asthma. Oh, and I forgot to mention that apples have a lot of water in them, which would be healthy. And if you eat them every day, you may have to use fewer prescription drugs in your life, which would be a big plus to people. However, this is only speculation at the moment. There are no real facts about it yet being true at all to any degree. Sorry if you were really betting on it. But besides alleged less drug use, and there are no real benefits to eating fruits every single living day. The main reason I found that how people eat this every day is that it is easy to go to snack and that is reasonably healthy. One question I still have is first off why exactly did this start? The best I could find is that in February of 1866 it was published in the notes and quarries in the riddle eat an apple on going to bed and you keep the doctor from earning his bread.
My guess is that this is a money saving tactic people did back then either because they didn't like the doctors or it's cheaper to buy apples by the bushel rather than give the doctors business. Or maybe they just did not like doctors back then. Like a bad Odin. Also, just as a note, The Notes Inquiries is a British publication that has answered readers' questions and I quote, have an emphasis on factual rather than speculative, which must mean they are very good source for this project being true. And that's all the info I could find on them. You might be asking now, how can you use this information going forward? Well, you could start eating apples a lot more. Maybe not every day because then you'll get sick of it and there's no real health benefit to its name. However, you should probably eat it more than once a week. You also can find other nifty ways to incorporate the apples into your diet, like a yummy apple pie or cobbler, shown on the slides. At least you'll still have some fibers left in them to keep you happy and healthy while eating. Or you can just do as you like. I'm not the boss of you. But I personally encourage you to eat more apples instead of those nasty Cheetos and Doritos and fried chicken with waffles and fried candy bars and fried butter or everyone's talking about these days around town. Well, here are my amazing sources I use to make this lovely project. And well, I guess we've reached an unfortunate ending, guys and girls, to this presentation. So stay healthy, my friends, and good luck out there in the real world today, and stay happy. Bye!